to my channel. I am about to head out. Just got in myself ready. I will show you guys what I'm wearing in a bit. But I'm heading into the city now. I'm gonna meet a friend of mine and we're gonna go look at some dresses. I wanna go to Maj and Sandro and see if I can find anything for our wedding week when we're in Ibiza, which is coming up in literally like one month. And some of you might know that I've been on the hunt for a good kind of after party dress for the wedding day. So I have my main wedding dress, but I want something a little bit more simple and easy for the party and the dancing, which we don't even know if we're gonna be able to have that yet. I'm gonna update you guys on that a little bit later in this vlog. But yeah, we're gonna go and see if we can find anything. And also just for some dresses that I could wear during the week, because we are gonna be there for the whole week. I did find this dress at a brand called Nookie, and it is very beautiful, but I feel like it fits me just a little bit small. So I'm not really sure yet if I'm going to keep it, but I will have it as kind of a backup until like the last day that I could return it. But yeah, this dress is really stunning. I will have it linked down below if any of you guys are interested in it. It's a one shoulder, has a nice gathering at the waist and a little slit there at the bottom. And it's a beautiful, like simple white dress, which could really work beautifully as an actual wedding dress as well. If you just want something, you know, really minimal. So I will have this linked for you guys. And this is what I'm wearing today. So it is actually raining quite a bit. So I have on this rain jacket from Zara, which I got a few years ago. Really love this. It has these cute little gold accents and I also love the color of it and then underneath I've got on my white mango sweater with another gold detail there in the front the Soma necklace Sen Rev bag and my jeans are also from Zara and then I'm gonna put on my white super goss sneakers to go with this Dress shopping yesterday did not really go as planned. I was really hoping to find something nice at either Sandra or Maj, but I didn't really see anything that I was super in love with. And whenever I get things, I want to make sure that I really, really love them and that I can wear them, you know, for different occasions. I did also end up going to an actual bridal boutique to see if they had any more simple, uh, like minimalistic wedding dresses. I will put a picture in here of the kind of like minimal dress that I was looking for and you can see it's kind of similar to the dress that I showed you from Nookie earlier in this video but I didn't really find anything in that style the boutique had more like traditional wedding dresses which I already have also on this topic so everything has been really crazy with the regulations they're constantly changing in terms of like how many people you're allowed to have so as i mentioned i'm not even sure yet if we're even able to have like a, a party afterwards and dancing so I don't really know yet if I'm even gonna need a second dress. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at in that department. But I am also still looking for some cute things to wear during that week. I have ordered some stuff as well. But also on the topic of our wedding, today I'm gonna be doing a hair test with my wedding stylist, my wedding hair day stylist. As a lot of you know, Mo is the one who usually does my hair, but he's not going to be doing it on our wedding day because he's going to be getting ready separately and I'm going to be in a different room. So one of his colleagues that he used to work with is a mutual friend of ours and he is so nice. He's super talented and he offered to do my hair for our wedding day, which is very, very special. And I like that it's kind of like in the family, you know? So he's actually on his way over and I thought I would film it for you guys as well in case some of you are getting married or if you need inspiration and I think it could be fun to just share what I have in mind. I'll pop in some pictures here of the direction. So this really beautiful kind of low bun with some curls, some loose pieces in the front, so just really soft and romantic and I think it's going to fit the style of the wedding dress really beautifully as well and just like the whole location and the theme. So I'm 
very excited to see what we are going to come up with so because he's styling it today i made sure to wash my hair yesterday so that it's not like super super clean they always say when you style your hair it shouldn't be like on the first day because it's better if it has a little bit of grip and texture and to wash and condition my hair i'm still really loving the shampoo and conditioner from function of beauty you guys probably know i absolutely love them and i'm really excited to be partnering with them again on this video so you can see these products are purple and that's one of the biggest hair tips that i ever got was to use a purple shampoo and conditioner because i color and highlight my hair and my hair is naturally this dark brown color and when i highlight my hair like this if i don't use purple pigments the tone can look very orange and brassy and not that natural so when mo colors my hair he always uses a little bit of purple pigment to counteract that and these pigments actually wear out with time so every time you wash your hair you style your hair so it's really important to make sure that you're putting them back into your hair and using products like this can really help with that function of beauty also have regular hair products as well and i love that you can customize them to your specific hair goals your hair type whether you have straight hair wavy hair curly hair you can really customize the formulas to your specific goals and what you need which is a huge reason why i love them so much so for example a few of my goals are anti-frizz color protection shine strengthen and volumize and then i also have to reduce brassiness which is where the purple shampoo comes in you can also customize the fragrance the strength of the fragrance my favorite one is the eucalyptus and lavender it smells so refreshing and just very spa like and then you can also choose the color of your shampoo and conditioner so if you're doing the purple one of course it's going to be purple but you can also customize it to be like baby blue pink yellow orange and you can also customize them with your your name as well so you can see here i have function of annie another reason i love them is that their ingredients are really clean they are paraben free sulfate free they don't contain any gmos or toxins they are also 100 vegan and cruelty free and they formulate to eu standards not us standards which means they ban over 1400 different ingredients versus us's fda's 11 ingredients and they're also dermatologist tested so they're not going to irritate your scalp so if you guys are looking for a really great shampoo and conditioner i would highly recommend them and they're also offering all of my viewers 20 percent off by clicking the link in the description box down below so i would highly recommend checking them out again you can get 20 percent off i will have the information down below in the description box so now i'm going to prepare for our hair test What do you think? My wedding hair. I love it. I've never seen my hair like this before. It's made me emotional even. Thank you so much, Jim. Oh, you're welcome. 
vlog. Um. <laughs> you know, guys, sorry, but I would have done her hair, but you know, I'm busy that day, you know? <laughs> so we needed the second best one, you know? Yeah. <laughs> no, Tim is very talented. Tim has been working with me for years. We said, if somebody's gonna do it, it's only gonna be Tim. are now picking out some plants and furniture which I'll show you guys in a little bit for our terrace outside and we're thinking of getting these they're called Chinese palms that's the name of them and apparently they do really well in all temperatures so even when it's like snowing and raining maybe this one so we need two I think this one is really nice Right? Nice little tropical vibe on our terrace. Perth? So this is the outdoor furniture that we're going to be getting for our terrace. This is a set. So it comes with those two chairs, two tables, and this nice long couch. And then we're also gonna get this bed, uh, two of these beds to lay down on. And it also has the wooden detail, and we have this wooden detail here. They're not from the exact same set, but we think it's still gonna look really good together. And I love the colors too. So we had to rent this van because we have to take it home today. A manual truck oh my god holy shit like forwards it's like easier but this <laughs> we always drive automatic okay be careful hello you guys mo's now getting our second sun bed and like i said we've rented this van and these things are selling pretty fast the people who work at the store they told us that most people will buy their summer furniture in like march april but we were able to get the ones that we really wanted so we're so excited to finally have some furniture out on our terrace because for now i've literally just been laying out my yoga mat putting a towel down and laying like on the terrace like on the floor and we also have this little black um, stool that we sometimes sit on but this is gonna be really nice to actually have something um, proper to sit on and to lay on I see Mo outside there he is <laughs> he said he doesn't need my help and I'm here keeping the car uh, safe <laughs> we couldn't find a parking that was very close so I'm just sitting here and waiting for him we are back home and we just put the furniture on our terrace and we love it looks so good it is very windy right now so hopefully you guys can still hear me but we put the palm trees there and the longer couch the two chairs and then on this side we have our lounge beds and we took the smaller table that came in the other set and we just put it here Mo's just gone out to get us some dinner and some vanilla ice cream because I'm gonna be making an apple crumble cake tonight and I'm so excited. This is something that I actually used to love doing when I was little. It's one of my favorite desserts, but I'm gonna try a different recipe today. This is gonna be like a healthier version of it. And the ingredients are really simple and I think it's gonna be pretty quick and easy. So I will of course make sure to leave this recipe down below for you guys, but you'll just need some oats, almond flour, chopped walnuts cinnamon coconut oil and some maple syrup and then of course 
your apples. This is my baking dish and I'm going to start by preparing the apples, just peeling them and cutting them up into smaller pieces. But yeah, I will make sure to have the full instructions and recipe of this down below. Now the ice cream. They were all out of vanilla ice cream, right? So this is yeah, hazelnut. This is a hazelnut ice cream. And do a taste test. And remember, it's like a healthier version, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Just keep that in mind. Mm. Oh. Wow, that's delicious. So guys, this is ice cream, apple, and I don't know, cornflake. Crumble. <laughs> I love it. Mm. I think I really the ice cream fits perfectly. Yeah. Mmm. This is delicious. Thank you so much for watching and Maybe. we'll see you in the next one. Enjoy this ice cream. It's really uh, this cake crumble or whatever. <laughs> but it's good. <laughs>